What's up YouTube, this is the AAF Zone coming to you with a new video. I know I haven't released much uh, lately, but with the season about to start in the Super Bowl coming up this weekend, I'm going to start posting more. Today I'm going to be covering the app and why it has been delayed because it was supposed to be out apparently by now. I'm going to cover the preseason games, which were not televised, and then roster cuts. Alright, so real quickly, the app was delayed. Um, it was supposed to be out for the preseason games, but unfortunately it had some bug issues. And I'm glad that they didn't release it, because that would mean we'd get, be getting an app that really wasn't working, had lots of bugs, and that, that would be bad for the league, it would be a bad image. So I'm glad they're taking their time with the app. Uh, the scheduled release date is supposedly February 2nd through February 4th, around there. It'll be on the App Store and on the uh, Android Store. I forgot what it's called, like Google Play or something. But uh, that'll be exciting when it does come out. Alright guys, now it's time to discuss the preseason games. Now with the preseason games, lots of these teams didn't play their starters all the way through. So you, you can't base your whole rankings of each of the teams on the preseason games because lots of the teams didn't play their starters the whole time. And, you know, they're trying to prepare for roster cuts. We'll head right into that. Alright, so the first game that I'm going to talk about is Hot Shots and the Iron. This game was a blowout, it was like 36-17. Um, some of the highlights were the Hot Shots had a really good run game. Six backs got to carry the ball. Jaleel Wadud uh, got a pick six on defense. And also, John Wolford apparently secured his spot on the roster with excellent play as a backup quarterback behind Trevor Knight. Alright, so the next block we had was the Commanders and the Legends. Commanders won 37-17, to um, pretty commanding win there. Uh, some of the highlights from the Commanders were Mikael McKay, wide receiver. He had a 39-yard reception and caught a 9-yard touchdown pass on that same drive. The defense was led by Winston Craig, who had constant pressure on the Legends quarterback, which was very important. He also had a sack, a strip, and a fumble recovery to set up the offense on the 25-yard line. Next game up, we got the Apollos and the San Diego Fleet. This game was a blowout in the beginning, but the Fleet managed to climb back into the game. The score was 31-28. Steve Spurrier was not happy with his team's performance late in the game, but they were able to get the preseason win. Here are some notes from the game. Uh, a wide receiver from the San Diego Fleet, Dantes Ford, was targeted 11 times, caught all 11 catch it, or, uh, targets, and had 114 yards. So that's pretty impressive. Mike Bergovici was 19 for 31, 235 yards, one touchdown. He did fumble the ball, and the Apollos defense got a total of seven sacks, so they were able to get lots of pressure and they actually um, forced a fumble on the one yard line that Jacob Pugh recovered for a touchdown. I believe the strip was from Reggie Northrup, the linebacker from the Apollos. All right, there's a reason that I uh, reviewed this game last. The Stallions versus the Mythics Express. The Stallions won 29 to 19, but there's really no information on this game, except that both teams are worried about roster cuts, cutting from 75 to 52, Lots of good players are going to leave your team when you do this. Um, I do know that Dennis Erickson, the coach of the Stallions, was impressed with Josh Woodrum. He went 4 of 7 for 91 yards. And um, that, that's really all we know about this game. If you all know anything, make sure to uh, get it down in the comments. I'd love to see that. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. Let me know if y'all want any videos maybe on your teams or maybe on players or on fantasy or maybe on how the app is going to work. I know a lot about the app. Maybe some of you do not know about the app. This is the Alliance of American Football Zone. Thanks for watching.